In four, we encourage the use of grid method, mainly because grid method is really good practice for being able to mentally calculate later on when they get to year five and six, because grid method encourages children to look at a number and partition it into its components, into its tens and ones. So we can partition 24 into 20 and four. Then what we can do, which is why it's a really nice mental method when children get to year five and six, is we can then use our mental maths to help us calculate. Now in a grid form, we would lay it out like so, which is similar to a multiplication times table grid. We would have the number we're multiplying by, we would partition our other number like so, and then we are multiplying each part. So six times 20, we're gonna use the idea of trailing zero. So we can use our multiplication fact of six times two, which is 12, and then because 20 is 10 times bigger, my answer will also be 10 times bigger, meaning 120. And then I've got my six times four, which is 24. And then the final thing I have to do is add my two components together using column addition or mentally if I can.